what I really like at ESA, it allows you to get and to grow towards, you know, understanding much broader and much bigger projects. You discuss with the science community and say, oh, it would be great to have a satellite doing something else, something extra. And then it comes to the preparation phase uh, of the next satellite and to have this jump between the complete life cycle of a satellite is something something extremely interesting. I'm Swiss and I got my first degree at Ecole Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne, APFL, in electrical engineering. Then I had the opportunity to do a PhD at MIT in the US and I started first with a master and then a PhD in electrical engineering and uh, computer science. We have this amazing, you know, very range, long range of Earth Association data, not only from our satellite, ESA satellite, but it started already in 1972, if I'm not mistaken, with Landsat. So it's more almost 40 years of data that we have. And with that, we track, we try to see how Earth Association data can be useful in order to monitor climate change. China is a huge potential and extremely talented people and we are looking to promote, to develop how Earth observation data can be used over China together with European scientists. So we have different projects. Each project is led by European scientists and a Chinese scientists. Of course, it's to help China here to, to make them more aware of the capabilities of Earth observation, but also it helps also our science European science community also to better understand what are the Chinese needs. ESA is a fantastic organization because it gives you quite some freedom. If you have some bright ideas, we look at them and uh, hopefully they can be implemented. Mm -hmm.